let's talk about that pentose phosphate pathway. So before getting into the details, first let's, I'm going to share the two possible goals of why a cell would want to run this pentose phosphate pathway in the first place. So one of the products that comes out of the pentose phosphate pathway is the production of riboses. Riboses are, are a type of five carbon um, monosaccharides that are one of the important building blocks when we're making DNA, when we're making RNA, and when we're making ATP. So a cell may want to run the pentose phosphate pathway in order to produce riboses. Another reason that a cell may want to run the pentose phosphate pathway is in order to reduce NADP to NADPH. Now you may remember NADPH from our first lecture on energy foundations because you may remember that NADPH is required in the process of synthesizing fatty acids where we take those acetyl-CoA's and we um, start adding them together in order to build a fatty acid. That process of lipogenesis requires NADPH which gets oxidized to NADP in the process. So when we, um, so a cell may want to run this pentose phosphate pathway in order to take that NADP, in order to take that NADP and reduce it to NADPH so that it's ready to go for fatty acid building, for lipogenesis. Okay, so let's now let's take a look at what this pentose phosphate pathway actually is. So we would start with glucose 6-phosphate right here. And then this glucose 6-phosphate would go through two rearrangements in order to become pentose phosphate. So a 5-carbon sugar with still has this phosphate group added to it. In the process of those two rearrangements, we would take two NADPs and reduce them to two NADPHs. We would also lose a carbon dioxide along the way. So this would allow us to be creating some of that, NA, that reduced form of NADPH. Now, um, cells that do this pentose phosphate pathway a lot, they are frequently cells that are involved in synthesizing lots of fatty acids. So this is gonna be, the pentose phosphate pathway is gonna be very active in adipocytes. It's gonna be active in liver, which is also involved in de novo lipogenesis. Um, and it's also gonna be active in mammary glands. So this is the pentose phosphate pathway, one of the possible um, routes that air glucose 6-phosphate can go once it's inside of a cell.